Hi everyone, this is Shiraz Ahmed Khan. The contents of today's lecture are functions in MS Excel, cell range, I mean specifying more than one cells. We'll take start from the basic mathematical function available in MS Excel, that is sum function. We'll also explore different flavors of this function. I mean, different methods of writing the sum function. And finally, we'll see the auto sum action. So in order to implement all these, today we are not going to start any task. Rather, we'll open a blank workbook in MS Excel and we'll de enter data of our choice and then we'll explore these one by one. So let's take start. Start MS Excel by typing the word Excel in the search bar available on the taskbar and press enter key. Open a blank workbook and starting from A1, enter few numbers one after another to implement the actions specified in the contents of today's video. So five values are entered in Excel sheet. Now before we start functions in MS Excel, let's understand that what do we mean by a function. Basic mathematical formulas are already learned in the previous videos in which we learned one very important thing that in Excel, in order to perform a calculation, we should take start from a special symbol called is equal symbol. That is a message for Excel that we are going to perform a mathematical calculation. Similarly, functions are used to perform basic arithmetic or mathematical calculations. Secondly, every Excel function has a predefined name that we cannot use for naming the cells. And thirdly, every function, it has its own rules for writing. And we'll have to follow the pattern and the sequence of the things which are the requirement of writing that function. So we are taking start from the first built-in function of Microsoft Excel that we usually use to calculate the sum of more than one values in MS Excel. Functions must be written like formulas. It actually means that before writing the name of the function, will have to insert is equal symbol. Then the name of the function, as I told you earlier, that every built-in function of MS Excel, it has its own predefined name. So our today's lecture, it's about the sum function and the predefined name for sum function is the word sum itself. One more interesting thing I would like to highlight here is that 
the names of these predefined functions could be written in lower case or upper case or in title or proper case whatever you like excel will automatically convert it into upper case so you need not to be very conscious about the case sensitivity as far as the name of the function is concerned so we are writing sum in lower case look just after typing the word sum excel is showing us all the available functions with this name and along with some other words with it and out of these we are discussing sum so we'll go for the sum function one thing is learned so far that in order to write a function we'll have to take start from is equal symbol just after the is equal symbol we'll have to write down the name of the function and the third important point is all the functions they have predefined or preset list of parameters and in order to specify those parameters we'll have to enclose them in parentheses parentheses mean or the pair of parentheses mean the small brackets so open the small bracket just after opening it excel is showing us that what can be typed as a parameter for some function actually what do we want here is to calculate the sum of all of these values starting from cell a1 to cell a5 the next very important thing that we are learning here is how to type range of cells without writing or typing each and every cell reference and the method is start typing the range from the very first cell reference of that range like in our case it's a1 then again a very important symbol that we use in order to specify the range of cells and that is the colon symbol then the cell reference where the range of cell is ending and that is in our case is a5 just after typing a5 you may observe here that all the cells from a1 to a5 are highlighted it actually means that we are directing excel that calculate the sum of values within this range and the range is starting from a1 and the range is ending at a5 and we have used colon symbol to specify the range of cells finally close this pair of parentheses by inserting the closing small bracket and finally press the enter key so here we have the sum of values from a1 to a5 and this is one method of typing this function if you go back to a6 you'll observe that we typed everything in low case the cell references and the name of that function sum itself but 
afterwards everything is capitalized by microsoft excel this is what we call the automated behavior of excel in dealing with the formula and functions so let's review it again sum is an inbuilt function of excel it has its predefined name that is s u m and because it's a function it's a formula it must start with this equal symbol after typing the sum function we'll have to insert the opening bracket small opening bracket and inside the opening and the closing small brackets we specify the range of cells and in order to specify the range of cells there must be a colon symbol that can be pressed with the help of shift and the semicolon symbol from the keyboard you can have this symbol a1 means that we want to sum up the values from a1 colon a5 means a1 to a5 this is what we call the range of cells so viewers this was one method of typing this sum function let's see the other method again click inside a6 press is equal symbol start typing sum and this time instead of typing the cell references within the range one by one you can just click the a1 hold down the left mouse button and scroll downwards this is what we call that we have selected the range with the help of mouse and automatically where we released the left mouse button of mouse automatically that range is inserted instead of typing the range of cells finally close the bracket the small bracket and press the enter key why we are learning the second method the reason is in order to reduce the chances of typing mistakes you can select the range of cells with the help of mouse button taking start from the first cell hold down the left button drag downwards and release the left mouse button where the range of cells is ending and finally close the bracket and press the enter key you'll have the output of some function in that particular cell that is a now the different flavors of typing the sum function one flavor we have just seen that in order to calculate the sum of values within the specified range we can use the sum function the other flavors are is equal to sum this time we want to calculate the sum of values and the values are not the not all the values in that range instead of we we are going to calculate the sum of different values out of that range so once again you can select those values with the help of mouse a1 is selected then you can click a3 or a5 and you will observe that automatically there cell references are appearing in the sum function so let's go back and click a1 put comma there a3 again one more comma and finally a5 so this way what does it actually mean that we want to calculate the sum of values but they are not in the range rather we want to calculate the sum of the values inside a1 a3 and a5 
if you remember we used colon symbol to specify the range of cell and now we are using the comma symbol to separate the different cell references which are not in the range rather they are scattered so this was another flavor of sum let's learn few more is equal sum and this time first of all we'll calculate the range of cells from a1 to a3 put comma and then a5 let's understand this scenario it actually means that we want to calculate the sum of values from a1 to a3 along with the value that is in a5 so this is we learned that we can not only calculate the sum of values in a specified range but we can also calculate the sum of scattered values or we can calculate the sum of values within a range along with a separate value or values similarly if you remember we learned in the previous videos how to name cells so let's select the first two cells and let's give them a different name by right clicking on to these two cells after selecting them click define name and choose a name of your choice like uh, we can call them important finally click ok button now previously we learned how to name one cell or more than one cells now let's see how can we use them in our sum function suppose we want to calculate the sum of this these named cells that we named important so in, this actually means that we want to calculate the sum of those two cells whose name is important along with it you can add few more things like uh, sum important comma a5 what does it mean it actually means that we want to calculate the sum of named cells a1 a2 along with the cell a5 So viewers, let's recapitulate today's video. In today's video, we learned that Excel has built-in functions. Each function has a predefined name and we cannot use any other name instead of that predefined name. Secondly, we use functions to perform mathematical or arithmetic calculations. We also learned how to specify the range of cells and we took start from sum function. We experimented different shades of sum function. We took start from typing a formula in A6 that how to type sum function by specifying the range of cells. We learned two methods by typing the values R cells with the help of keyboard or by selecting the range with the help of mouse button, drag and drop. If we look at A7, here we have sum with scattered values. In A8, we have sum with the range of cells along with the single scattered value. And finally, in A9, we are calculating the sum of two cells a1 and a2 whose name is important along with a value that is in cell a5 so uh, this is all about the sum function and finally we are going to 
add an auto sum and we'll see understand the functionality of so viewers in order to understand the functionality of this auto sum behavior select the cells from a6 to a9 and remove these formula by pressing the delete button again select the cells from a1 to a5 click the auto sum drop down arrow and you will see different functions there today we are just focusing on sum which says that it automatically adds it up your total will appear after the selected cells in a new cell so click this button and look in a6 we have the output by using the auto sum function comparatively much easier much faster less prone to errors this auto sum uh, built-in functionality of ms excel you need not to type even a single character from the keyboard and everything is done automatically look at this function is equal to sum bracket a1 colon a5 the range of cells and the closing bracket viewers that's it for today do not forget to subscribe the channel and if you feel that the video helped you please do not forget to like the video save this sheet with the name of your choice because we'll be working on to this sheet again in our next video see you soon thank you very much for watching and goodbye